Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. So today we're doing the q and I asked for Q&A questions a little while ago. Uh, if you want to ask questions, it was on my YouTube community tab. I will again post a call for questions. I do it every, you know, so often, every month or two, I uh, do a new Q&A. But yeah, YouTube community tab, that's my main source for all my communications with you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell notification, you should get notifications and they should appear on your home screen as well. Anyway, now down to business. So we got a lot of questions here. Admittingly, I have not gone through them, so you're going to see my raw reaction. I'm going to try to go through these real quick. I'll try to avoid duplicates as well. Um, the date as of today is October 4th, 2020. So that's kind of as of today, this will be answering your questions. Um, hey Joel, what happens when you eat a normal portion of food? Define normal, but I can eat a normal portion of a well-balanced meal and feel satiated, at least relatively satiated. Would you be open to coming to San Antonio and eat with Elder Eats? I'm not sure who Elder Eats is, but uh, yeah, I actually made it into the San Antonio city limits, but I never really got into San Antonio. Um, we did do a little challenge in the area. What made you start competitive eating and bodybuilding? Okay, so weightlifting and bodybuilding, I was actually inspired by an old girlfriend's mother. Um, which saved me at the time. Uh, I was not heading down the best path and kind of getting to the gym definitely uh, got me onto a better path. From there I started looking up you know, personal development and pushing myself to do better and grow as a person, uh, both physically and mentally. And how I got into competitive eating was after I had so many injuries I couldn't really lift the way I wanted to, although I could still lift pretty good at the start. Um, I, it was just kind of like, I always liked to eat, and I was ate a lot, and I ate quicker than a lot of individuals, not intentionally, and it was just kind of another outlet for me to kind of like push myself in, kind of similar to weightlifting in a way, like it's kind of competitive, and it's kind of, it's an exertion. Um, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Do you ever think we'd get this large? Um, so first off, super thankful for my amazing fan base. I am so thankful for all my friends, subscribers, all of you guys, really I am. Um, what made me want to start a YouTube channel? I th I'd say probably kind of Randy Santel. He was one that kind of like was the final straw that in the terms, you know, broke the camel's back and or the final straw that made me do a food challenge. And I was kind of like inspired by that. I was like, that's really cool. I, I want to try that and I did. Um, although actually I will say, I actually started my YouTube channel as like an informative channel, uh, which kind of turned into food challenges. However, that being said, I finally started my second YouTube channel, which is called Life Lessons with Joel. Definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, I've been answering you guys' questions on it, so it's been really, really cool. Um, so I mentioned a 100K play button, so I finally just got the notification like a couple weeks ago. Like I ordered it, I don't have it yet. So like about 150,000 subscribers, I finally like, got approved to get the, pick the play button. So, but it will be in a video, eventually. <clears throat> How many times a week do you do big challenges? Um, not, if, if I'm at home, like there's weeks, 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 weeks on end, I don't do any kind of big eating. And then it's usually uh, quite a bit of these big meals in a short amount of time, kind of when I'm traveling. I um, mean, yes, I eat normally. Uh, do you actually eat slow when eating normally? I mean, I eat a lot slower than I do like in a contest or a challenge, but I still probably eat quicker than the average individual. Um, are you single? Yes. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Um, that's kind of the same question. So there you go. I won't have to answer it again because it might be uh, reappearing. I've never seen you eat breaded fried calamari when you do all you can eat sushi videos. Um, are you a fan? I, I like calamari a lot actually. Um, if it's at all you can eat sushi places, I just never order it and or that's not what I'm in the mood for. But I have Definitely a challenge coming up with a video, with a seafood video where I eat calamari. But yeah, no, I like calamari. Um, there hasn't been a physique update this year. Uh, yes, there has in the, I mean, I wouldn't call it a physique update. I don't know what you guys want. Um, I mean, I've kind of I've lost, yeah, there's bits and pieces really throughout my videos, but uh, probably the most substantial one would be in, it was a uh, ghost pepper cheese burger challenge. It's on my channel. That has the most substantial physique update. That being said, I just got back from traveling and I definitely put on a bit of weight since I did that. Uh, basically, I lost my gains, and but I try to stay pretty lean. 
Uh, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have a brother and a sister. Uh, would you do a challenge with them? I did have a uh, my sister in a video or two of mine before. When is going to be your next challenge? Uh, about a month away. I'm taking some time off as I just got back from um, traveling. However, I do have, of course, videos three times a week. Um, when are you going to do a spicy food challenge with me and Luther the Great, says Mr. Cody. Cody, you guys are tough. And Neil, you are tough, man. I I would... I don't know. I'll, I'll eat some Louisiana hot sauce or something, but you guys are crazy. <clears throat> Did you always have an appetite or is it something you discovered over the years? Um, I mean, I always like to eat. Like, I'd love to go crush a buffet, but again, what I do is not... It's like a, it's an intentional thing. I don't always eat big portions. It's an intentional act. It'd be like asking Usain Bolt if he ever stops running. Of course he does. He walks around all the time. It's only a very short piece, a short duration with intent and purpose that he runs. And that's the same for me and my eating. What does the following day look like after consuming a crazy amount of food? It really depends. Just. So usually low, it's lighter on calories. That's about it. Hopefully there's no uh, adverse effects. Is Last Starfighter a movie you like to watch? I don't even know what movie that is. Last Starfighter? Do you mean like Star Wars? I don't know what The Last Starfighter is. If somebody asks, are you a nerd? I am the furthest from being a nerd, to be honest. I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm old fashioned. I don't understand Generation Z and or any of this nerdy stuff. Although I do like Star Wars, I'll give it that. Do you go on a fast to be able to consume food? No. Do you take laxatives? No, not unless I am blocked up, which probably happens twice a year, maybe. Like, no, I don't, to make a long story short. Um, what is something new you've learned about yourself during this crazy year? Um, I learned how big of a piece the gym was in my life when things shut down really the only things that bothered me were gyms were shut down and, and restaurants were shut down but it was the gym that really brought it real like it was crazy I, I find it really is like it's a it, it affects the way I feel like when I'm working out I feel better uh, definitely good for my mental health it's a big part of my life and that's what that really showed me just how big because I hadn't taken any real time off from the gym in years, like eight years, eight, maybe nine, eight, nine years, like sh going straight. So that was a big one. Um, have you ever got sick after a food challenge? Oh yeah. And I've often talked about it, like go see my uh, videos with the raw, raw meat. Oh yeah. Um, who do you got in the Stanley Cup Finals this year? I don't watch hockey. I don't even like hockey. So I don't... Nobody. I don't even think there's going to be a Stanley Cup this year. And if there is, I don't know. When will you try an Indian restaurant? I have an Indian buffet video on my channel. Will you ever try your skills in the hot dog eating contest? I would like to one day just because it's like the Super Bowl of competitive eating. Um, that being said, I'm not an MLE eater right now because of the contract restrictions. But one day. Have you seen the new Lego Star Wars? Uh, no, I haven't. Do you always eat fast even when you're not doing a challenge? No. Have you always eaten that way since a little kid? No. Uh, do you love Star Wars? I do like Star Wars. What is your favorite type of southern food? Uh, if barbecue counts, barbecue. What's your favorite TV show? I really don't have one, I don't watch TV, but I will say The Mandalorian was an amazing series. It was like the last full series I watched. The Mandalorian, uh, even though there's only one series, and then, or one season, and then Game of Thrones before that was the last series I watched. That was really good. Before that, it was Trailer Park Boys and Breaking Bad. What's your least favorite thing to eat? Ah, uh, that's a tough question. I really don't like pho. I don't really care for noodles. 
but there's some things like I really like liver I really don't enjoy the taste of but like I don't usually eat that often so where's your dream vacation and why uh, it's just somewhere warm what is your favorite food challenge it's hard for me to pick one but I do have a video encapsulating kind of the top 10 food challenges of 2019 and if you guys like it I'll do one of 2020 are you gonna do challenges in other countries like Italy India France UK China etc um, I would definitely am open to it for sure on a normal monthly schedule, how often do you eat fast food? Zero, zilch. I never, ever, ever, ever buy fast food unless it's like I'm traveling or I'm out with somebody and like we. the only thing to eat is like fast food. Like I use an example. The only time I've, I've purchased fast food in the last like forever, and I'm not talking like going to a restaurant and doing a challenge, but like fast food, is like when my mother came to visit we were like out and about one day and we bought like some Popeye's fried chicken <laughs> like that was it but like I haven't bought fast food the time the, the so that was in August and the time before that I would have bought fast food was for my uh, McDonald's $3,500 meal challenge and then the time before that I don't remember I don't eat fast food at all I don't like it it's just not it's not for me. I'd rather go to a restaurant, maybe get a buffet, something like that, mate. Do you like any sports teams? Uh, I prefer MMA. That's my favorite uh, kind of sport. So it's not really teams, but athletes. Don't you want to try Asian food, like here in the Philippines? Uh, I've definitely tried Asian food, and I do like Asian food, so sure, i try it in the Philippines. Do you have your play button? No, not yet, but I will eventually. Which challenge is the most difficult? I have a whole video explaining some of the most difficult ones. Maybe I'll do an update one next year, but uh, some are difficult for different reasons. Somebody says, why haven't you done a challenge in Georgia? I have, I've done a multiple, I've done a couple, just did them uh, very recently. Do you ever want to try Indian cuisine? Again, I've, I've done Indian a couple times, like uh, definitely on, my, ch on my, my, my channel. So for some reason, I mean, it seems to be a misconception. I haven't eaten Indian food, but I have. I have a video on it, check it out. I used to go to my Indian buffet just over there pretty often. What's the best thing you've ever eaten? Um, animals. Animals. And what's the worst thing I've ever eaten? I don't know, that's a hard one. But probably not animals and or bad animal parts. And that's about it, actually. So a little bit, I, I guess I went through that a lot. That was apparently like 80 qu comments or about 80 questions, at least 80 comments. So I guess I went through them pretty quick, minus the duplicates. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was a very, quick one actually I think that's the shortest Q&A we've ever had it was like took me like 14 minutes to go through it so wow that's pretty impressive anyway so I, I hope you enjoyed everybody thank you so much for watching went by really quick actually I'm kind of shocked um, but yeah that was our Q&A thank you so much for everybody who uh, asked questions again I'll probably in about a month or so because I'll release this this month in October uh, probably you know a couple weeks or a month will last for another series of Q&A questions, and I will answer them again. So definitely stay tuned out for that call to action. Uh, check out the YouTube community tab, comment next time, hopefully get your question read. And with that, everybody, thank you so much for the comments, uh, the questions. Um, thank you for, again, it was very quick, but hopefully you enjoyed. And I think that's about it. I'll just talk very briefly about my trip. So the trip we just did was absolutely excellent. We did Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Georgia. And for those who said, I wish I, I wish I had known you're there, or I missed it, we had it on Instagram, we had it on uh, Facebook, we had it on YouTube Community Tab. Um, so it's pretty, it was very well advertised. But that being said, guys, we got to meet so many awesome, awesome, awesome people out there. Um, you know, special thanks to um, Kathy and Andrew, for example, to Mr. Dale, um, to... Jay and Shelby, these are some of our friends that uh, helped us, you know, hook up, uh, stay with us, or uh, let, let us stay with them. Uh, just like absolutely phenomenal people, and we met so many. We had Britt, Britt was awesome, she came to so many challenges. We had Mr. Ben, Ben, the one like Han mechanic, great, great, great guy. Um, we had Miss Loyal, she got us banana pudding. Um, I think I said Britt coming to all our challenges. We had Mr. Peter and Reese, they came to some. Uh, just like so many awesome people. Got to meet with Mr. Randy Santel, it was so much fun. So yeah, just stay tuned everybody. A um, lot of delicious food, a lot of cool challenges, a lot of unique things coming your way. 
And, uh, you know, huge thanks to everybody on Patreon, supporting me on Patreon. It really does help. Um, all that, 100% of the, that, the funds, the money on there, um, goes directly to my food challenges. The only time I ever, like, cash out on it is when I'm going on a, a trip. 100%. I've, did, I've done that from the beginning. I'm going to continue to do that. So, yeah, everybody, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. In this case, you can do what I do. You can talk, you can converse, but of course, as always, eat healthy, guys. Eat your vegetables. Don't eat, you know, just, just, just have a lovely life. Much appreciate, guys. Have a lovely evening.